Savile Row is the best place in the world to get a suit made. Anyone you can imagine who is a sharply dressed gentleman, they all have their suits made by Savile Row tailors. It's the craftsmanship, it's the best. It's very unique to this area of London and it is the home and the birthplace of tailoring. There's always been women in the trade, but not necessarily in client-facing roles. Historically, it's a man's trade, and men were advising men how to dress. You know, after 15 years of training, I decided to set up on my own, and you know, in my belief, it's the first time a woman who is a qualified bespoke tailor and master craftsperson themselves has opened a business in this street. So it's a sign of the times, and it shows how relevant Savile Row is in today's society. We make all sorts of wild and wonderful things from the you know, really classic to the more complex in terms of the way it's cut or constructed. I wouldn't say there was one typical Catherine Sargent client. We make for all shapes and sizes, young and old, from all over the globe. And they're seeking me out and seeking out our service because they want to have something made that is unique and special for them. I don't try and put my clients into a style that I think is right for me and my brand. It's more about creating something that is really special and right for them. The idea is to build a relationship and work with them for many years. I didn't know where to begin in terms of setting up a business, so I literally got a book, How to Write a Business Plan, downloaded templates off the internet, and kind of put the gaps into the things I knew about and the things I didn't know about, I tried to find out. So, you know, I got a good accountant, I got a solicitor, you know, I got people that I could go to for the advice and the things that I didn't know. Find out as much as you can about the risks, about consequences, and speak to professional people get a good sounding board and take measured risks. Whenever I talk to, say, I don't know, my legal advisor, I say, tell me what's the worst that can happen with this, or, you know, what's, what are the consequences, and does it agree with the vision I have for the business? I like to understand everything as much as I can, so whether that be trademark, property issues, you know, employment issues, rather than just say, oh, I'll leave it to you. I want to try and understand as much as possible. So I like to have that open communication and because then I feel better equipped and more confident in the decisions I make.